Recently I was at a customer who asked me how he could bend a tab on a solid SolidWorks part. So I'm just going to open up this little block and it's made, got a little tab on it here. And I'm going to make a copy of it so I don't wreck the original. And then we're going to take the copy and explode it. I'm going to geometry explode and it makes a ton of little tiny surfaces. So I just want to select the tab area that I need and I'm going to try and get my object positioned here and select this tab. I'll probably get a few more surfaces but then I'm going to just hide everything that's not selected and now we can see I've got a couple extra surfaces on the side so I'm just going to select those and hit my H key to hide them. And we'll take some along the bottom here too. So now I've got what looks like a single part, but it's actually a ton of little surfaces. So I'm going to select those surfaces and go to Geometry, Merge, and make those one object. Now I'll have an SMG object down here. And I want to select all of the objects, turn them all on, and turn off the new tab that I just made. and the, the original block and then we're going to grab all the rest of them and merge those together into one surface. So now I've got three objects, the original, the tab, and the new body. I'm going to jump over to animation mode and unhide the block and tab and actually animate because this is what the customer wanted to do. They wanted to stress that you can't bend this tab too far. So I'm just going to go ahead and animate that forward, rotate it around a little bit, pick an axis here. This one will work. And I'll animate that going forward a little bit. And then maybe move the timeline out a little bit bring it back to its neutral position and now we might as well even rotate this back a little bit just to show you how the measurement works and then I actually want to add a little measurement on here so I'm gonna just see how this plays first bends in bends out and then just after it starts to bend in I want to add a little measurement I'm just gonna use distance between two lines right here and pick a line on this edge and then pick a line on that edge. And that'll give me the distance so that we can see the customer didn't want it to push more than four millimeters. So you can animate that up. See that just goes just under four millimeters. And next I want to add in our image library, add a little caution here. So I'm going to go to workshops, image library. This is new in 2013 if you haven't seen it yet. And there's some stock ones here. I'm just going to throw up a warning. And then maybe we'll add text to do not exceed four millimeters. And I can put a little interactiveness on here. I'll just select it and say play current position so it'll blink and highlight. And now if we play that back, we see it animates up. Don't go past four millimeters. Big nice flashing warning and then you can click it. And there you have it, how to bend a solid part, or at least look like it's bending, from a single SOLIDWORKS part.